Okay, I just ordered a new um, bulb kit. It's an LED kit, actually, from uh, Whiskey Zero India Whiskey. And uh, these kits are awesome. Uh, this is a uh, Kenwood TS570S I just got uh, for a really good price. Had amber, uh, the amber bulbs in it, and I get sick of seeing amber because I don't personally like amber. Uh, the kit had two options. I didn't really know that there were two options when I put it together, but one was a blue option. It was labeled in the bag. That's the one I probably should have used if I wanted to go blue, blue. Um, <clears throat> the other option in the bag that I wasn't aware of uh, was the fact that it could be a cool uh, white, like a, a very small amount of blue, but mostly white background. And I thought that would look really awesome. I remember having a Yezu FT450 that basically is the opposite. It's a black background uh, with a white lettering. <clears throat> Excuse me. This gives you a white background with black lettering. I go ahead and check it out. This is what it looks like. There we have it. So we got a couple of hams here talking on 20 meters. But as you can see, very very visible. Very easy to see. There we go. One guy's weak. Uh, it usually happens. One guy's weak, one guy's not. But I'll zoom in here a little bit. I'm sure we've worked on 20, but it's probably been many, many years. There we go. All right. Much better. Danny, thanks for calling in. It's great to hear from you as usual. Got a great signal like 5 and 9. Conditions are apparently quite excellent. Solar flux numbers are very, very high. So probably 10 meters is really quite Anyway, that's the kit right here, and this is what it looks like. It's very beautiful. I really like it. Now, I can go in and I can change the brightness levels really, really quick for you. certainly pass regards on to Mark for you if you'd like. And I'm not sure if he'll ever make it Here's the brightness levels. I got it on D2 because I like D2, but you can turn it off. D4 is your lowest, all the way up to D1 for brightness. I put it at about D2, which is nice. It's not the brightest it could possibly go. The LEDs will last longer that way. There you go. Everybody's happy. Oh, very good. Very good. Well, I'm not going to, unfortunately... There you go. That's the new kit that you can get. It's on eBay. Uh, it's a relatively, um, it's a very good price. It's under $25. You can't beat that to be able to change your, your TS-570S to looking like this. I mean, that's awesome. Um, I suppose if you really wanted to and you had the, uh, the energy and were advantageous, you could go out and uh, change the board out every month or so. You know, you'd have to desolder and then put another uh, set of uh, LEDs on there. If you were really inventive, you could put two rows per pad, two LEDs per pad, I guess, and be able to switch one and on and off. But that's not something that we can do, obviously, right now. So, anyhow, this is the new LED change. It looks really, really nice. I love how it stands out like this. It's uh, something I like to go and tune to in the morning is... Radio Australia. Love Radio Australia, so we'll go ahead and kick it in and see how it sounds. We're playing a game right now. We got the noise reduction features. I love this stuff. Awesome. Well, anyway, this has been a, a look at the uh, at the LEDs by W0IW. You can get them on eBay right now or you can get them at hamkit.com. Have a great day and seven threes all.